Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a package in the recommended way. Even though this is a Rust tutorial, this is the recommended way for most games and also most server types. Instead of giving the items or permissions directly to the player, we are going to create a group, attach all the permissions that we need to that group, and then we're going to use Tabex to move a player to that group once they claim or purchase a package. Alternatively, we can also automatically remove a player from the group once a package expires. If you need to make any changes in the future or want to add something, you can just add it to the group and all the players will automatically get those new changes. In this example, we will use Sign Artist, but of course you can use any plugin or plugins that you want. Let's first of all start by connecting our Tabex store to our Rust server. Under integrations, let's go to game servers. I already have a few, but let's for now connect a new game server. Select the plugin. I will call it new tutorial server. I'm not going to attach any packages because I will create a new one. Let's click on continue. Let's download the Oxide plugin. As you can see, we have it downloaded over here next to our sign artist plugin. And then we need to place these inside of our Oxide plugins folder. I have carbon installed to make it a little bit easier to do some of these steps. So instead of going to Oxide plugins, I'm going to go to Carbon and then Plugins. So Tabex and Sign Artist are now inside of the Plugins folder. We are then going to copy the following command and paste it inside of our server console. So I'm going to paste that over here and then just press Enter. Successfully set up your secret key. Store setup, new tutorial server for Web Store Rust 609. As you can see, this is the name of my testing Web Store. And as you saw earlier, this was the name of my server. We can run this command to see if there are no errors. I just saw that this was successful. So for now, I'm going to click on continue. And as you can see, we just created that new tutorial server. Back in Rust, let's open up the admin panel by doing slash CP. Under permissions, let's go to groups and then let's add a new group. So we're going to give the group a name and also a display name. In this case, this will be the same called VIP. We can give it a ranking, dictating what group is more important than the other. For now, I will leave this blank since this is just a demonstration. We can also choose a parent group and then the VIP group will automatically inherit all those permissions from the parent group as well. Let's click on confirm to create this group. We now have a new group over here. So let's select the group. We then have our two plugins over here. For the VIP group, we don't want to go into Tabex. We want to go into Sign Artist. Then we have the different permissions that are inside of that plugin that we can assign to the group that we have selected. So in this case, I want to assign sign artist URL and sign artist text. So now these two permissions are linked to the VIP group. Anybody inside of that group can automatically use these permissions. You can take a look at the list of permissions to see exactly what does what. If you're not using Carbon, you can still create groups using commands. This page will be linked in the description. Here you can see how you would create a new group. You could run this command inside of your server console or run it directly in game if you're a admin using the F1 menu. But as you can see, using Carbon makes things a little bit easier. You can create groups and directly edit the permissions in one go. I will also link to the permissions manager. This is one of my favorite plugins. This will basically give you the same menu as you just saw to edit the permissions, but as its own single plugin, so now that we created our group, we assigned the permissions that we want to assign to the group. We can now create a Tabex package that will automatically assign a player to that group once they claim or purchase a package. So let's go to our packages. In the top right, you can add a new package. Please use a proper description if this is a real package. It is really important that the customer always knows exactly what they are getting when they claim or purchase a package. I selected my game server that we just created. And then I added two commands. I wanted to show both. So this is the commands if you're using Oxide. Since we are using Carbon, we need to change this slightly, but this will still work exactly the same. So when the package is purchased, we are going to say Oxide user group. We're going to add someone to the group. We're going to add the player who is logged into our web store. And we are going to add them to the VIP group. Then when the package is removed, and this is after one month, and of course this is configurable, we're then going to say the same thing, but instead we're going to remove them. Hopefully this should make sense and explain how we can add a player to a group and automatically remove them after a certain time frame. Now this is for Oxide, so copy this exactly if you're using Oxide. Since we are using Carbon, the only thing we need to change is change Oxide to C. 
This would be the correct command if you're using Carbon. Now let's add another command when the package is purchased. Let's just say in chat that we ran the command from Tabex. Let's click on update. Let's open up the control panel before we do a test payment. Let's go to players, select the player that we are interested in. And then under modules, we can go to groups and we can see that currently we are only in the default group, admin group, and we are not in the VIP group. Under payments, let's create a payment, fill in my Steam ID. Normally the player would log in through our web store, select the package we want and create a test payment. Let's wait for the chat message to pop up and then let's check if we are actually inside of that group to see if the command has run successfully. There we are. Server says, run the command from Tabex. So now if we open up the panel again and let's select myself, go to groups, we can see that indeed we are now inside of the VIP group. So our package is working as intended. Hopefully this was helpful. If anything is still unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.